attracted you to Princeton and Yale and literature? Is it because of your dad? What? Um, Princeton, I, I don't. Just wine. Wine. <laughs> Can we turn wine into we want, water? We wanted this. We wanted this on you. Um, I'm not sure why I chose uh, Princeton. I think uh, I think I was identifying myself as a writer as well, although I didn't know what form that would take. And. Um, uh, by the time I graduated Princeton, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. <clears throat> I thought I would write, and I thought that uh, getting a job as a as a uh, teacher in a college was probably the the best way to make some kind of a living and ha have four months of the year off. <laughs> I should just leave it at that. <laughs> now four months of the year off to write. You know, um, to be able to follow my own path on my own. And I guess I was going down that, that road uh, when I was at Yale and uh, was uh, going to get a PhD. And, but I, I just, uh, at that point I'd been in school my entire life, like one would be, at, but I was 24, 25, and I just felt I felt like I, I just had to get out of school, but I didn't know how to. I didn't know how to do it. I didn't have a trade. I didn't have anything I could do. So I became an actor. <laughs> no, that's not really the truth. But I became an actor by. Uh, I was, and I, I'm not methodical at all. I'll, I'll tell you, um, I, I, I'm a terrible planner, and I'm a terrible. Uh, my my buddy always says. Fail to plan, plan to fail. And I'm like, yes! <laughs> um, so, yeah, oh, thank you. Thank you. So, um, was it Yale? And I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write, I'm gonna be a poet. Because <laughs> that's what I'd written up until then. I'd written in high school, and I'd written in college. I was able to study with Maxine Cuman at, at Princeton, which was a great, uh, a great thing. And James Richardson. So I, I'd written, I'd written a good deal of poetry, and, and I was like, ah, maybe I'm better suited for, for fiction. Like Faulkner was a failed poet. You know, I could be a failed poet too, <laughs> and I could write fiction. I could write poetic fiction. Um, I was like, yeah, but that just, that still means I'm going to sit in this room alone. And I'm 23. I'm sitting in a room alone. I'm not cut out for that, really. Temperamentally, I, I think I needed to be with people. So uh, it was like plays, I'll do drama. I, I I can write, and then we'll be on a stage, and I'll be I'll be working with people, and I won't be I won't have to sit alone in the room forever. <laughs> and um, I was like, yeah, but if you want to write plays, maybe you should learn what it's like to say those lines that people say when they're up there. So I was like, oh, I said, I'm at Yale. I can maybe go take an acting thing with people. There's always always actors running around. And there are, there's all these little venues all over Yale, it's a big acting town, Yale. And uh, <laughs> they always need bodies, they basically need bodies. And then they, I started, I just kind of wandered into a playwriting class, which is not legal, you're not supposed to be able to do that. <laughs> but they let me stay there, and I was studying that, and then I met actors, and they said, oh, we, we, we have a part in this thing, you know, but we don't have any actors, you know, we'll run out of actors, but he's just a body, you know, can you do that? I was like, yeah, I can do that. And, uh, so that's just how that all started. I was like, oh, well, here's another, this is a real puzzle. Um, acting was a real puzzle. I didn't understand it. I didn't understand how they did it. So I kind of got interested in that. 